geometry, 90 degree angles. What is it? The study of size, shapes, position angles, and dimensions of things. Why? 90 degrees are the best angles for boxes to hold the most stuff. Interesting fact. A leopard's body is built for hunting. They can run up to 57 kilometers per hour or 35 miles per hour. They are excellent swimmers, climbers, and leapers. Now let's take a look at the spinner. Okay, we're talking about right angles. How many right angles do you see? It, that's, uh, what number are you thinking right now? Let's, let's figure out if you're correct. Now remember, we are looking for anything that has a capital letter L shape. Okay, so just put your fingers like this, like an L, and you can see if you rotate or move your hand, no matter which way you put it, you still have an L. Same thing for, for right angles. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see in the green section, there's a, a letter, a white letter L. If we move it to the blue, there's another one, and a red one, a third, and finally a yellow. There is four right angles that you see for this, for, uh, for that two particular circle with, this, with the amount of sections that you see. Now, one other thing is when you uh, you might see uh, instead of having the number 90 and the, for the angle, you might see a box. So if you see a box that represents 90 degrees, so that's just for you to be aware. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the steps. Step one, is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? And step two, rotate the image that way. So let's take a look at the spinner uh, uh, and let's read the question. So let's, which one shows the spinner rotating 90 degrees clockwise? Okay, so let's go ahead and see what clockwise is. So as you can see that it's going to the right following of the clock. So now we're going to go ahead and add the arrow to uh, the, the, the original spinner. And now we're going to go ahead and move the, the black spinner to the right 90 degrees or one section of the circle. This is four. And then now we're going to go ahead and get rid of the uh, previous spinner. And now we need to find one that looks like the one that we now just have. And, and as you can see, it is the letter A. So now we have moved it 90 degrees clockwise, we've answered it, let's move on to the next question. So which one shows the spinner rotating 90 degrees anti-clockwise? Okay, so now we just went right, now we're going to go a left, follow against the way a clock normally goes. And now we're going to once again go left, we've added the arrow on the screen so that we can see. And then now we're going to go ahead and move the arrow to the left, get rid of the original spinner or arrow. And then now we need to match which one of these is uh, one of the, of the of our new spinner. And as you can see, it is B. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to the next example. Here we're going to have two, um, two things we need to do. So let's go ahead and read it. Which one shows the spinner rotating 90 degrees clockwise and the sections rotating 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So let's go ahead and do one section at a time. So we're going to do the spinner. I'm going to go ahead and rotate and move, and because we're going clockwise, we need to move it to the right, and that's what we're going to do. And now we've moved it, we can get rid of the old spinner and keep the, with the spinner where it is. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about the sections. And we're going anti-clockwise, which means we're going to the left, so the spinner stays in the same spot. And now we're going to move the sections to the left, and we're going to do it slowly and surely. And as you can see, the spinner is staying in the same spot, but those sections are moving to the left. Now, which one of these looks like the one that we've now just created? It's not B, because the colors don't match. So the colors do match, but the spinner doesn't match. It's not A, sorry, rather I meant to say first, because the colors do not match. It's not C, because the colors and the spinner does not match. So the only one that is left is D, okay? So let's take a look at this spinner. So how many degrees did the uh, image below rotate in which direction? So this time, uh, let's go ahead and, and do the clockwise first just to see. So when we did that one, we're going to go to the right, and we're going to go ahead and slowly move it so it matches uh, the one below. And right now it matches. We only moved one section, or we moved 90 degrees clockwise. And then now, wait. Or we were not done yet. Why? Because what happens if we if we don't move to the right? What happens if we start moving anti-clockwise? So we're going to go to the left. 
And as you can see, we just moved one section or 90 degrees. Now we're going to go ahead and move another one. We just moved two sections or 180 degrees. And then finally, we are here. We've matched it. We went three sections or 270 degrees anti-clockwise. How do you get 270? For th you get three sections or you can add 90 degrees three times to get 270. Okay? And that is your answer on your screen. 90 degrees clockwise or 270 degrees anti-clockwise. Okay, now it's your turn. So go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer these four questions. And then in uh, three, uh, three seconds or so, I'll go ahead and show you the, the answers. In three, two, and one. Here are the answers. So if you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, there's always tomorrow.